The boat moves into a gondola, which holds boats side by side. There are two gondolas on the Falkirk wheel, which always weigh the same, whether or not they carry their combined capacity of 600 tonnes, as the water contained within the gondolas is displaced to compensate. In the central machine room, an array of ten hydraulic motors begins to rotate a central axle, which is carried on bearings at both ends. The axle connects to the outer arms of the Falkirk wheel, and this now begins to rotate slowly at a speed of one-eighth of a revolution per minute. It takes around four minutes for the gondola to reach the top of the aqueduct, 25 metres above. The Falkirk wheel can turn in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction, and the choice over which way it turns is made by an operator in the control room. To reduce wear on bearings and other moving parts, the operator will evenly distribute the number of times the wheel turns in each direction. As the wheel rotates, the two gondolas are always kept in the upright position by a simple system of gears. Two 8 metre wide outer rings orbit a fixed inner cog of the same width. Two smaller cogs connect the inner and outer rings together. These travel in the opposite direction to the outer rings and this ensures that the two gondolas remain level. Without this system, the inertia created by over 80,000 gallons of water would tip each gondola over. Maintaining an equal water level in each gondola is critical to the operation of the wheel. A system of electronic sensors constantly monitors the water levels up and down the Falkirk wheel site. When the gondola reaches the top of the aqueduct, a hydraulic clamp locks onto the gondola to hold it in place while the space between the gates is filled with water. Once the water levels have equalised, the gates are then lowered to allow the boat to pass through. 